Hello friends, it's Julie Norman and today we're back in the kitchen. And I did try to put plug in the microphone, but it, it wasn't working so there was no sound. So I've tried to put a little soft things around so it would absorb. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, but I'm you know, still learning and adjusting. Anyways, this is Julie Norman and I put out planner and planner related videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Today we're going to have a little flavor of Christmas. In a previous video, I mentioned that I had made a junk journal, and the, I did a flip through, and now I made a couple more, because I'm kind of addicted now, and I'm going to do a flip through, because I'm going to sell these in my shop booth. I have a, a booth at an antique shop. The process is a lot of fun, but I don't have the need for all of them in, in my house. So there's only one Christmas, and I already have my book. So I'm just going to do a flip through, so you can get an idea of what they look like. And let's start with this one. So with these, I did purchase a kit from Etsy. I can link that below. I don't have any affiliations with them. I just purchased, she had nice little kits for them. And I took one of the Carpe Diem notebooks or Traveler's Notebooks. So you have the craft cover here and I covered the logo up. So I took that apart, took the staple out and I put different papers inside it. So it's kind of a reconstruction and I put a little lace here and a lot of these things are part of the kit. So we have a little pocket in front and I used some book pages as well. Some old book that is basically very brittle and coming apart. It's really nice as a background. I add a little spot to celebrate the season. So you have a spot to journal about what the season is, a little gift tag, tuck. So junk journals have a lot of tuck spots. Image. This is from my Silk and Sonder, some leftover pages. A little quote with a, a little bit of mind, body, health, shopping list, and food, memory, and song. Holiday baking, so you can list what you want to have. You could put your recipe cards in here. A little cup of cheer. Maybe you want to make some cocoa. Here is letter to Santa, so you can tuck in a little letter into this pocket. Uh, a little half sheet. I tucked another tag in here. Holiday gift budget, so you can plan ahead. You, as in whoever purchases it. Homemade, I protect a little, an old vintage um, recipe book in here. Um, oh, what fun. Making memories, holiday playlists. So you can journal on here or put pictures. Again, another book page in the background. Um, a lot of the things I used to make this was either the uh, a strip adhesive or uh, some glue. So it's, I didn't do any sewing because my sewing machine isn't working. Here you can stick some Christmas cards in here. I included a few Christmas card seals. Some more artwork. I also have a um, book that takes you day by day. Um, it's like a, a, a yearly thing. So I put a few December pages in here. Naughty or nice list. A little tuck spot. And this is a little book you can journal in. Whatever you thoughts you'd like to include. Here is a hidden pocket. Another book page. Gratitude list, which is always important. Snow day, just the journaling spots. You know, I'm more wanting to have a lot of journal spots than probably other people. And here is a um, different kind of corner a tuck pocket. I added a sticker, a holiday budget, so they can put that wherever they'd like. Some more artwork, another hidden pocket. Preparations. Here's a little envelope. This is included in the kit. A tag. Breakfast with Santa. Maybe you could put a, uh, the picture of the Santa. Meal plan for the week. Another page. Let it snow. This is a final page, so I thought it's important to have one last page to journal in. And a final back pocket with a couple tags in it. And that is the first one. Now the second one is a Christmas in the Home. This had the artwork that was on the cover that was from this. It's actually this one, and I didn't want the front to say hospital on it, so I um, changed that and covered it up with something else. Another thing that happened here is my printer did not print to the edge, so I added a piece of ribbon there. So this one is the Christmas at home. There's a tucked a little piece of lace in the back and just a little layer to add some dimension to it. In the We have another pocket in the front and a little envelope. You can tuck something in, some little vision, traditions, you can journal a little bit about your menu, meal plan, again another Silk and Sonder page, this is some little artwork, another tuck spot, you can put your family photo or your Christmas card in here, 
some more stickers. Trim the tree. Holiday shopping list. And, a, and this is a pocket for receipts. Some more of these pages. Count down to Christmas. Another little tuck spot. Maybe you want to put your advent calendar in there. Peace on Earth. This, these places would be great to put um, some photos and such on. Santa's Helper. Holiday Crafting. Another tuck spot. Maybe you could put a pattern or an idea of uh, some pictures in there. Another hidden pocket. Christmas greeting. So I figure if you want to put some cherished cards in here, you can just tuck them in here or tuck them in there. Another journaling spot. Sorry, I keep going crooked, guys. Um, tuck spot. And here, this one also has a little book. This is a, like a little gratitude book. You can write some gratitude down. Just image, holiday movies, and holiday playlist. Some journal, some memories there. Cookies for Santa, and it tucked in another um, little cookie book there, and another tag, tag, another little envelope, so you can tuck something in there. Build a snowman, perhaps there's some, some sledding or some skating activities. Under the mistletoe, this is a different tuck spot that goes up like that. Page, home for the holidays. Another budget sticker. This is another hidden pocket. The other side of the Silk and Sonder page. So I did it different. Before it was, this one was at the front, this one was at the back. A little polka, joy to the world. And this is the last page, so it's a little journaling spot. And a couple of little tuck things in there. With that. And then the same on the back. So those are my two uh, little junk journals, my experiment into it, and I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully that these will find good homes. Uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas of what to go through and look at, and um, just simple things. This isn't like taking your sewing machine and stuff. It did take a while because it's my first ones, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying it. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a joyful day. Goodbye. P.S. Let's do one more thing analog. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess here that I downloaded a couple games on my phone that I got addicted to and one of them was called Lily's Garden and the other one was called Wordington. And these are both games that you do a little task and then you can use your stars and points in order to make improvements on whatever it is where Lily's Garden of course is the garden and the other one was Wordington was about a house. It feels a little satisfying. but. I, and Lily's Garden, of course, it starts off easy. The thing about Lily's was that it was so much fun because she has an actual character, personality, and you kind of like her and her friends, and it's a story, there's a mystery. Um, but the thing is, is that it took so long as I went into to get through things, and levels were hard. So <laughs> what I did is I um, went and looked on YouTube um, the storyline and the people do videos and they do like the whole day each day with Lily's garden they'll take walk you through what happened and what they decorated it without the without the challenging games and they're about a half hour long guys I mean that's like a series like you're watching a sitcom or something on TV so I'm like well, wait a minute I'm spending way too much time in my life doing this and you know probably more than a half hour and I was thinking well I remember last year when I went through my surgery recovery. I wanted to get some crossword puzzle books, some paper and pencil. And I, I purchased, went out and purchased a crossword puzzle book and I brought it home and there, it was a variety puzzle book and there were no crossword puzzles in it. <laughs> so, but I did as much as I could out of it anyways. And so this time I bought, I wanted to get the variety puzzle book with crosswords and puzzles. So I ordered from Dell online, Dell crossword puzzles. I purchased two books, and this isn't a variety puzzle book. <laughs> it is just basically crossword puzzles and different kind of crossword puzzles, so I guess I, I'm strike two for me. But I'm just going back to the analog where the pencil and the paper. Um, forget about these digital games that take forever. I, this is more controllable to me where I can see the puzzle, like, okay, here it is, and if I get stuck, there's answers. So it's just going back to basics, really. Um, and it helps to exercise my mind when I'm not able to do things with my health issues. That is the new thing that I'm doing. And 
let me know, do you like crosswords or puzzles, or do you do online games? Have you done any of these as well? So thank you for watching to the very end, and have a joyful day. Goodbye.